Fucking windy out. Fuck. Anyways, welcome to the goddamn thing edition of fucking whatever the hell we're doing. Come on, fucking kids. All right. Ten place, twelve places. There's too many fucking teams in this. We have the Galactic fucking headquarters. I love you, Skyhorse. You're the only good person that shit. We have over two Shuckle King over here. Fucking get rejected by Mars the fucking goat because I went undrafted. Uh, fuck. Silver Smash, the most overrated fucking player. Only got lucky as shit on Crit City. Only fucking reason Silver Smash ain't even fucking considered. Jesus Christ, you are. And then you have fucking Pichu, bro. Okay, your bottom couple is not bad, but the bottom couple isn't going to perform. Pichu is getting fucking washed in by a fucking second. Christ. But yeah, number 11, we have the fucking, basically, oh, GCS is okay. Oh, go, but, 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 it's okay, LC, but I fucking killed him in my first fucking LC game. Christ. 11, we have the fucking suicidal squad. What is it with Hiker and drafting that team? Probably? Fucking last, fucking one in six, whatever the hell you call it. And then here's the thing. Why is not a fucking leader. I love you, Ryan, but you're not a fucking leader. You can't take this team. You, you're not with a 27.5 fucking K this team's win. Who else do they have fucking have, okay? Fucking Pythons is shit without, without fucking Halu. Pythons without Halu is fucking the snowball without fucking snow. Christ. We're life overrated as shit. Class is class and trace. Here's the thing. Class did good last season. Cause no fucking LC players were there. Okay? You fucking kidding me? That we're, with no LC players, no fuck class did good. As soon as he's facing competition, he's gonna shut the fucking bed. Christ. Who else do we have? Fucking T Witches is fucking cute as fuck, so I love you. And Almighty Sean is just gonna work it with one player. Fuck. Ten, we have the fucking Zero bucks given point. 2.0. Zero bucks given. At least had some good fucking players like John W. and K. These guys don't even have a good fucking casting core. They're relying on Jake to be John W., who he's not. And then they think that North, North and Lapis are going to fucking carry. Here's the thing, yeah, they might be active team support. They might not, but, but they're fucking bad. But they're going to be active, but they're not going to be fucking good team support. Christ. Brian's not bad, Justin's overrated as shit, and then fucking Ultra Play- Ultra Play is gonna be too busy watching anime, you fucking weebs! Christ! And then Big Daddy Jake will own oh, five. Nine, we have a fucking weebs in! This team might do good. But still, they're the fucking Crusaders from, from DPL Season 3. So any team worse than this is automatic shit. But at least this team, weebs in, might do good. They have a couple of high potential like Aaron, Fucking, actually no Aaron shit, uh, L5 Illusion and Money Guy, and Ben, all okay players, Cass is good at LC, but here's the thing, none of those fuck, they're gonna be too busy watching fucking anime, fucking, oh, oh, fucking, oh, fuck. they're gonna be too busy watching anime and jerking off to fucking weeb shit to actually playing, fuck. Eight, we have the fucking 30k team, the, whatever the fuck they call, they have what? Three good players, one of them's gonna be inactive. One of them has a, a fucking hyper hat. No, not fucking hyper. Blair's inactive, Zern's okay, and then fucking Mustang hasn't played in three months, so you know, you know. Also, Colt is the same thing as fucking class. Only did good at LC last season because there were no good fucking LC players in there. Colt is gonna shit the bat and be the biggest fucking bust of this draft. Christ. PNR. They're just TGB. Once again, they're going to be placing the LC players, so that's not an LC core. Fucking Ice, Ice and Pie, whatever. Those are probably the two best names on this team. Moxie's fucking okay. Zing is going to be what, doing his school shit because he thinks that's more important. He's going to be having his there you go too big that he doesn't think he needs to fucking build for this league. And then when he's not losing because he's not try not winning because he's not trying, he's going to fucking quit. Christ, horrible team. Pesky's okay, I guess, and then Pesky's the worst fucking player ever. I'm sorry, Pesky. You, you, you quit too much, and, and, and aside from like five minute builds, you, you're not like shit. I did it a do. Six. Six, we have the Youngster Bill featuring Youngster Bill, Youngster Bill, and Youngster Bill. No aura for a uh, Brian Rodgers boss. Middle Siders fucking got no quit three or four last season in BPL. Right, and then regulators all play out. Fuck you guys, fuck. Yeah, yeah, you guys are shit.
fun. But but yeah, actually, bro, Mike carry, so you know, check out. Now we have the boomers. Drop this team. What is my drop this team? Harris, so yeah, sure, they might have made it up with Harris, but Harris didn't come cheap either, Christ. So then they end up grabbing TC, I love you TC, and if Grab performs good, and TC performs good, they might have a chance, but then you look and realize that, oh fuck, Ricardo hasn't performed good, DL's, all, DL's been getting better, but that was just like all team support last season, Hydro's a complete shithead, and fucking, no one knows who the fuck Romacio is, so he's probably shit too, right, what? And then, uh, and then they are hoping that Patrick can get play play two LC games a week probably, because I don't see a single fucking player on this list who might be able to stand a chance in LC. as I've been bad at the Christ. <laughs> Number four, Meatball Substitutes, defending champion, Techno. Techno did went oh went three and oh into four and into oh and four after mid. So you know we're also planning on dropping it after mid either. Max, probably the most overrated player on this list, went, what, 3-3 three and three in DPL, so apparently now he's a fucking 26k player. Max wanted to be on my team, but then he realized that I was drafting good players, and he didn't want to be, and he only wanted to be the fucking superstar, so he's going to be an attention whore. Spud is probably either going to be boom or bust, he's probably going to be fucking, good. he's probably going to be a cheaper version of the draw, honestly, like, good teams are probably fucking shit the best, right. And no one else gives a fuck about the rest of the players because realistically, who the fuck cares? And also, you can't have Renegades, Renegades can't play the LLC, so that's shit. Finally, we're getting into some at least okay teams that, that aren't complete shit. Now, Black from the waist down. I as a fucking goat went fucking like 5 0 and 5 0 and fucking Ultra Sun, but there's no fucking Ultra Super so yeah, fuck that. Probably one of the better captain points, to be honest here. Um, Carson's overrated as shit. Sky's whatever the fuck he's doing. He's just at least he's good health. Takeda's probably the best LC, one of the better LC players aside from uh, the others on this list. So, you know, he fucking killed everything in TDT. And if he tries to get opponents in TDT too, so, you know, don't use that as a fucking excuse. And then we have T Route Price and TBB. These are probably two of the most overrated players, LC players on this list. So, you know, can't really say anything good about them. Robert Pound's a fucking go, so I fucking love Robert Pound. You're gonna be good team support, but realistically, it's I, I, and Sky on this team. But the other teams are so fucking bad that they're still this high. Christ! Number two. Prospect and Mayo. The thing with GFG last season is they drafted the Mayo core without Mayo. How the fuck do you do that, okay? At least they. Oh fuck, I have an earplug here. At least they have fucking Mayo this time. So, you know, that's good. John W might care with Mayo. K Chris apparently out of the jungle for the first time in his life, so he might be active. And then, uh, and then you know, Brian is pretty good. He's good, cool. Uh, Mew Sebastian went three and four in LC, but he, but she did beat uh fucking who the fuck? She beat some good players too, though. Um, so yeah, she's she's out there as an LC player. Then you have Zeph who went inactive, so if he so if, like there there becomes a worse team tour that shows up in the middle of um in the middle of Clash of Kings. Zip is obviously going to pay more attention to that than here. Next we have the fucking Live Chance. Live Chance is a fucking go. He can beat everyone that's not me on his stay. So you know, like as long as he doesn't face me, it's gonna be good. And then Bacon Born is whatever, and then fucking G is the go. That's the fucking real king, and we're obviously first. Like we have Wombo. Don't, don't even fucking lie. Any team with Wombo is the fucking king. <laughs> 